Great. So good morning, all of you. We are back with the uh, science two chapter, cell and cell organelles of our class eight. Okay, so up till now, what all cell organelles we all have studied in details are cell wall, which is found only in plants and not in uh, animal cell. Plasma membrane is found in both plant and animal cell. Nucleus also, both in plant and animal cell. Endoplasmic reticulum we have seen. Golgi complex and its functions we have tried to understand. Lysosomes also we all have seen. It. And mitochondria. Mitochondria, uh, the powerhouse of the cell and lysosomes, the suicide bags of the cell we all have seen up till now. Then uh, vacuole, vacuoles uh, which are present in plant cell and which if present is in small quantity, smaller size in animal cell or it could be absent also. And we all have seen that uh, vacuoles are there to maintain the osmotic pressure uh, that is the water inside the cell. Okay. So in animal cell, they store waste products also. And in plant cell, vacuoles are filled with the cell sap and provide turgidity, rigidity, and other thing in them. So vacuoles are also very important cell organelle of any cell. Okay. Today we are going to move up to one more cell organelle that is plastids. Plastids are uh, found only in plant cell. Okay, now why and what is the reason behind that? Why don't we have plastids in animal cell that we need to understand? Now plant leaves are green. Uh, flowers are differently colored, red, yellow, white, variety of colors of flowers we, we are observing. So, um, did you ever think about what imparts this color to different parts of the plant? We animals are not green or red or yellow or like those colors are not observed in animals. Why these colors in plants. Now the organelle which gives such colors, organelle that is giving such colors is present only in the plant cell. It is specifically seen only and only in the plant cell. Okay. What must be the reason behind this? Now it is called as plastic. The cell organelle that participating in imparting color to different body parts of the plant are the plastids. Plastids have double membrane and are of two types. Okay. Plastids also are having double membrane structures. The outer covering is two layered, okay? And they are of classified into two different types. Now, what are they? Leucocytes and chromoplast, okay? Leucocytes are the one. Classified into Okay. Leucoplast, white or colorless plastids, they are okay, and chromoplast are colored plastids. Color could be from green, red, yellow, blue, whatever color. Okay, 
Now chloroplast can get converted into other type of chromoplast. Chloroplast, you can understand from the name chloro, fill, chloroplast. They actually can be converted into other types of chromoplast. If for example, say raw green tomato, after it gets ripe, it changes its color to red due to breakdown of chlorophyll and synthesis of lycopene. Okay, this is the reason why earlier green colored mango will uh, change its color to yellow when it becomes ripe. Just like this tomato, which is becoming, which is already green, and then after some time, as it grows ripe, it becomes red in color. So this is an interesting fact. This is all the game of chloroplast and chromoplast. These are the plastids. Now chloroplast, for example, what we have to do is. Uh, we can observe this under the microscope also if you take a thin peel of a leaf. And chloroplasts are important for photosynthesis. Chloroplasts are very important for photosynthesis. Why? Because it do possess chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is very important for photosynthesis. Otherwise, without this green pigments, photosynthesis is not possible. Even if sunlight is available and other um, gases like carbon dioxide and other things, all necessary things available. But if chlorophyll is not there, then photosynthesis cannot take place. So chlorophyll is chloroplast, trapped solar energy. The chlorophyll in the chloroplast, these pigments, they can trap the solar energy, that is the sun's energy, okay? and converts it into chemical energy. Solar energy is converted into chemical energy by whom this chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the pigment that traps the solar energy or sun's energy, okay? So this photosynthesis reaction already we all are studying, we all have studied in our earlier classes also. So solar energy is trapped by this chlorophyll and converts it into chemical energy. Stroma is the chloroplast contains enzyme. Stroma the part called stroma. What is it doing in the chloroplast? It contains the enzyme and uh, DNA as well as DNA, then ribosomes and carbohydrates that are necessary for photosynthesis. The stroma is very important because the DNA, ribosomes, carbohydrates, all things are present there, which are going to participate in your uh, photosynthesis process. Then uh, we have certain layer of disk-like structures, halicoids, thylakoids, Halakoids are also there. Then we have um, double layer structure, outer membrane, inner membrane. Then uh, granum. 
are also present, which are the broken parts. Granum is present, inner outer membrane is present, thylakoid is present, and stroma are present inside. So, inner and outer membrane. Inner membrane, outer membrane with thylakoids, granum, and stroma inside this chloroplast. This is a chloroplast. And stroma is the main structure where there is DNA, ribosomes, as well as there are certain carbohydrates and all these things are going to participate in your uh, photosynthesis process. So uh, chloroplasts are very important part of uh, plant cell especially. And then what is the function of this chloroplast? Let us try to understand. We know that it's going to help in photosynthesis. Chloroplast converts solar energy into chemical energy that is food. Chemical energy means what? Food. Isn't it? Then, chromoplasts give different colors to flowers and fruits. We all have seen variety of flower colored and fruits also. Then, leucoplasts are involved in the synthesis and storage of food such as starch. Means we can't say that these lipopas are of no use. They are also useful ones. What is their function? <clears throat> they are involved in the synthesis of storage of food. Then uh, <clears throat> food, which type of food? Starch, oils, proteins. These type of food are synth uh, <clears throat> synthesized there and uh, stored also. Mitochondria and plastids can produce protein as well as replicate themselves as they have their own DNA and ribosome. So as earlier told you that in the nucleus we have DNA, in mitochondria we have DNA, okay? And in this chloroplast, in this chloroplast we have DNA. There are therefore three cell organelles which possess their own DNA. In that case, it can replicate themselves as well as protein synthesis can take place in them, isn't it? So these are the very important cell organelles in the cell. After studying the cell and cell organelles, you must have come to know that all the functions in plants and animal cells are taking place smoothly without interruption due to all these cell organelles which are all very, very important. Okay? All the cell organelles are participating in functioning of the single cell. Now, you see, uh, last year we have studied prokaryotic and uh, eukaryotic type of cell also. So, these are the cell organelles of eukaryotic type of cell, where all the cell organelles are having a membrane. All the cell organelles are membrane bound while prokaryotic cells were the primitive type of cells where they do not have any membrane bound organelles. All the organelles are just scattered in the cytoplasm roughly. So um, this prokaryotic and eukaryotic type of cells are very important part of this chapter again where we are going to study the cell. So earlier also we all have discussed but today one more time we are going to 
write down the difference between prokaryotic type of cell and eukaryotic type of cell that you can note down in the copies also. Now, about the color, if you want to discuss in the chloroplast and leucoplast, uh, color of uh, plants of a plant, if you think uh, green colored leaves, then uh, carrots are orange colored, yellow color is also seen in some of the leaves, and when they are going to shed off old leaves, they also become yellow in color. Then purple and blue colors are also seen. Dark pink color also sometimes are available. Now, what is the reason for these? Which chemical is imparting these colors to this plant body? Green color is due to chlorophyll that we know. Then orange color is due to carotene. Therefore, the name carrot given to your carrots that you eat in during winter season. Then yellow color is due to xanthophyll and purple and blue colors are due to anthocyanin. While dark pink uh, color that is we see in beetroots and all, these are due to betalin. Betalin. Okay. So these are the pigments that are present in uh, these plastids and they impart color to different parts of the plant body. Now, what is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell that we need to note down because basically cells are classified into prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. So first of all, eukaryotic cell and then we have a prokaryotic cell you see eukaryotic is the modern type of cell and prokaryotic cell is the old type of cell where the cell organelles are not going to have any cell membrane around them okay so uh, eukaryotic cell, if you think they, uh, their size will be 5 to 100 micrometer. Cells are already very small, microscopic. So in micrometer, we are going to measure them. Uh, eukaryotic cell could be bigger than the prokaryotic cell in size. Prokaryotic cell, if you think, it is from 1 to 10 micrometer, while eukaryotic cell will be 5 to 100 micrometer. Okay. <coughs> then, uh, number of chromosomes are more than one in eukaryotic cell, and in prokaryotic cell, only one. Uh, number of uh, chromosome is present. Only one chromosome. And here you have more than one chromosome. Okay. Then uh, nucleus, if you think here, the, there is a nuclear membrane that keeps the nucleus separate from all the cytoplasm in the cell. So nuclear membrane, nucleolus and nucleoplasm are present in eukaryotic cell while they are absent in prokaryotic cell. Now, uh, mitochondria and plastids are present in eukaryotic cell which are not uh, membrane bound in prokaryotic cell. And, uh, highly evolved unicellular and multicellular uh, organisms from amoeba to human beings are examples of eukaryotic cell while prokaryotic cell have only bacteria and cyanobacteria as their examples so um, this was all about your cell and cell organelles next class we'll be discussing the question answers based on uh, these topics. Okay. So bye all of you. Thank you.